External hard drives. Some DJs think they uh, aren't necessary. Some DJs can't live without them. Well, I'm here to tell you what I think. So I really enjoy the Western Digital external hard drive. Why? Because it's cheap. Because it doesn't clog up my internal drive on my laptop. My internal hard drive on my computer is only one terabyte, whereas I can go much higher without having to take my computer apart, as you saw a few months ago. The Western Digital My Passport Ultra is my favorite because of the metal chassis, so this aluminum will dissipate heat a little bit better, and it's a little more heavy duty, as you can see maybe in the reflection. I've dropped it a couple times. Um, there's a few dents in it. Now, I had one of these before, and I dropped it on concrete, and it did die. But because I got the lifetime warranty from Best Buy, they just told me to replace it, even though it was my fault. So, Best Buy, you're amazing. Always get that lifetime warranty on hard drives. Maybe it's not necessary on an SSD, but you're spending three, four, five hundred dollars on an SSD. You might want to get a lifetime warranty on it. The alternative is to go cheaper and get the My Passport. This is a plastic chassis. Now this is a newer model. It's a little bit thicker. Okay, it's twice as thick. Now I got this as a backup hard drive. I don't exactly know all the differences. Uh, I think this is a higher cache on this hard drive, but there's not a whole lot of information on these and what the difference between the Ultra and this is. I know there's a plastic chassis on the My Passport, whereas there's an aluminum chassis on the Ultra. It's USB 3, micro USB 3 on both of them, which I don't really notice the difference so much between USB 2 and USB 3 because I have an old laptop that only does USB 2. It doesn't really make a difference except for when I analyze my music on uh, my desktop, which is USB 3. And we can talk about how to do that some other time if you want. Now this uh, is the new version of the My Passport Ultra, still in an aluminum chassis on the top where it dissipates heat, uh, plastic on the back, which this is also plastic on the back. No change there, but this is a thicker chassis and a new cooler design. The biggest difference is USB-C and it comes with a USB-C cable which is really nice because those are expensive. And at the end of this cable, it has an adapter to USB-A. So if you have an older laptop like mine, you don't have to have a, uh, an adapter or a dongle for this drive. But if you have a newer laptop, like a 2016 or higher MacBook Pro that only have USB-C or Thunderbolt 3, you don't have to have a dongle there either. I really like the direction that Western Digital goes with their external hard drives. I eventually do want to get a solid state external solid state drive from either Samsung or Western Digital or Seagate or something. Um, and the reason for that is because of read write speeds, analyzing time and so on. And eventually when I get a better laptop, it'll notice a difference. I just wanted to recommend these hard drives. I don't have much experience with the G technology external hard drives, but I know DJs that do, and they absolutely love them. They're great hard drives. I've never had a problem with the My Passport, but I've also never had a problem with the Ultra. And I've heard of DJs having problems with the My Passports, whereas they haven't had problems with the Ultras. I've never heard of anyone having a problem with the Ultra. This is definitely worth the extra money. This, I believe, is a four terabyte, which obviously gives you enough space for music. Anyway, I wanted to tell you guys my opinion on the matter, uh, because my opinion matters. All right, I'll see you guys later. Enough of the cheesy jokes.